Welcome to the world of science. Today we are going to study chapter 2 the skeletal system. Our body performs different activities by the coordination of different organ systems. One such organ system is skeletal system. Do you know how does it work? It works in coordination with muscular system. In this session, we will study about different types of bonds and their functions. What is skeletal system? The skeletal system is a rigid framework of bonds. What is the function of it? It gives shape and strength to the body. It is a bony cage that protects the internal organs of the body. Next, what is skeleton? The framework of all bonds together is known as skeleton. There are 206 bonds in an adult human body. They are of different shapes and sizes. They are mainly made up of minerals such as calcium and phosphorus. The major bonds of the skeleton include skull, limbs, mean, bones of arms and legs, backbone, ribcage or chest bone, and jaw bone. Next, what is skull and its function? The skull is a bony framework that protects the brain. It is made up of 22 bones. The upper part is made of 8 flat bones joined together which protects the brain. The remaining 14 bones of the skull together form the frame of the face. All the bones of the skull are fixed and immovable except the lower jaw. What is the function of jaw bone? Jaw bone is the largest and strongest bone in the face. It is also called the mandible. It forms the lower jaw and holds the lower teeth in place. It is the only movable bone of the skull and help us to bite, speak and chew food. Which is the important part of a skeleton? Yes, backbone. The skull is attached to the backbone which forms the main axis of the skeleton that helps us to stand erect. It is also known as the vertebral column or spine. It is made of 33 small bones called vertebrae. They are placed one above the other and allow us to bend and twist our back. Backbone encloses and protects spinal cord that contains nerves and blood vessels. Let us explain the structure of a rib cage. The rib cage is a bony structure present in the chest region. 
what is the function of it it encloses and protects the heart and the lungs it is made up of 12 pairs of thin bow shaped bones called ribs all the 12 pairs are attached to the backbone but only 10 pairs are attached to the sternum in front what is sternum the sternum is a long flat bone that lies in the center of the rib cage the remaining two last pairs are not attached to the sternum these two pairs are called the floating ribs next parts of the skeleton are limbs arms and legs human beings have four limbs a pair of upper limbs arms and a pair of lower limbs legs upper limbs upper limbs have two parts that is upper arm and lower arm upper arms are joined to the spine with the help of shoulder girdles the upper arm is made up of a single long bone called humerus that is joined to the two bones of the lower arm at the elbow next lower limbs lower limbs have two parts the upper leg and the lower leg the upper leg has the longest bone in our body called the femur femur is joined to the two bones of the lower legs at the knees the feet have number of small bones what do you observe in this picture these are girdles what are girdles girdles are ring like bony structure that support the limbs there are two girdles present in human body the shoulder girdle and hip girdle here we can compare the shoulder girdles and hip girdles shoulder girdle is made up of a pair of shoulder blades and a pair of collar bones our upper arm is joined to the spine by the shoulder girdles the hip girdle is made up of three bones fused together to form a single bone the bottom of our spine is joined to the femur by hip girdles now let us revise the importance of bones number 1 they give shape support and strength to the body second point they protect the soft internal organs such as brain heart and lungs third movement bones muscles and joints together help in the different types of body movement four production white blood cells and red blood cells are produced in the bone marrow present in hollow bones what is bone marrow bone marrow is the spongy tissue inside of our bones fifth point is they store minerals like 
calcium and phosphorus. Students, we have completed first few topics of chapter 2. We will be continuing in the next video. So take care, stay home, stay safe. Thank you. God bless you.